All right, Washington State head baseball coach Brian Green uh, joins us now. Uh, uh, Cougs just uh, come up short uh, on on chasing the ser the the series sweep uh, of Seattle U. Uh, dropped the Sunday finale six to two. Coach, uh, guys just came up a, a little bit short today. Uh, couldn't couldn't get the out uh, and, and stay out of the big inning uh, on the mound, and then uh, couldn't get the big hit and, and left ten guys on. So a uh, uh, tough day for the Cougs. Uh, what'd you see? Yeah, you know, it's just one of those disappointing baseball days, you know, uh, a couple of hard hits uh, when it really mattered and, uh, you know, three, two runner in motion, you get a bullet right to the infielder move into the bag and it's baseball, you know, and uh, we got we got beat today. Um, we had a one to one strikeout to walk ratio. We were putting the ball in play, but uh, we couldn't get the hit when we needed to get one. I we, you know, two out hitting wasn't there today. And those are usually the golden moments of, of whether you win or lose when you come down to it. But uh, credit Seattle, they did a good job of putting the ball in play. Um, you know, I thought our pitchers uh, had a few 0-2 mistakes in the middle of the plate, which enabled them to put the ball in play. And but Seattle's tough that way. You know, I've been been around Donnie's teams for you know four or five years, and they're going to put the ball in play. They're going to throw strikes. And you know, so a positive was that uh, we were one to one for two days in a row. Strike out to walk yesterday. Plus today we were plus as well with HPP. So that's a positive moving forward. Uh, I thought their guy did a really nice job. Their starter just in terms of keeping us off balance. Uh, Will had a rough outing. But, uh, you know, he was able to keep it at, at two. Uh, Dakota came in and was was really, really good and sharp uh, for more than four. And uh, the bullpen was fine. Just just one of those days. It's disappointing that uh, we couldn't finish off a sweep. And uh, we got beat. You know, we didn't put any errors on the board. And we put the ball in play, but just just not as hard and uh, in the right spots that we want to. So we'll go back to work this week. And a uh, short week turnaround again. We'll head to Seattle. Uh, we'll see those guys again along with the Huskies. And uh, look forward to the next couple of days of preparation. Uh, there were a couple of bright spots uh, it, towards the bottom of the order. You had a couple of youngsters out there. Keith Jones, people getting the first chance to see a big-time prospect out of Northern California. His first start at Bailey Brayton Field uh, had a single and, and walked and made a couple of nice plays uh, in the outfield. And then uh, Gunnar Golds, uh, Goldsmith uh, steps in for the injured Cody Colden and, and with three hits and scored a run at the bottom of McKay, at the bottom of the lineup. What do you see from those youngsters? Toughness. Um... <laughs> Grit, determination, uh, you know, a, a will to want to get into the lineup and want to fight. It's pretty impressive, you know, what Gunner did yesterday coming off the bench 0-2, and here's three quality at bats, and then I uh, backed it up today with three hits. But the, he's got a little presence about him, and that was one of the things that was kind of tagged on him. So a very impressive day for him, a freshman, you know, going into shortstop and just making all the plays, uh, communicating on the field. Really proud of him, you know, and he's uh, he's changed his role immediately. He had an opportunity, and uh, – and uh, it's right in front of him now, just in terms of being able to get more bats, more innings. And then Keith Jones is a guy that we've really been trying to get in. Um, you know, Brady was off to a pretty good start. Uh, Vandebrake is is Vandebrake. Montez is in the outfield. TP's DH in. And you know, we're nine and one going into today. And uh, but but where we were with our roster was like we we've got to get Keith in there. It's a right-handed power guy with a breaking ball. This is a good opportunity. And. Keith went in and kind of did what he's done. You know, I think he's got nine at bats or 10 at bats or whatever Keith has this year. They've all been quality. You know, he's a, he's a tough out. He's really competitive. And uh, I was glad that we were able to start him because he showed us what, uh, what we've all thought that he was in, in a real role, huge at bat, full count. Uh, we put a runner in motion and he had, had like a seven, eight pitch at bat, hit a bullet right at their second baseman. And it was one of those just punches right in the gut that, uh, that didn't go to the gap, but, uh, Keith and Gunner showed really well as freshmen. That's exciting for the program moving forward. Uh, we know you, you don't like to focus on uh, individual awards, and he'll probably hate us for asking about this, but uh, Kyle Manzardo's 27-game hitting streak uh, comes up short. He hit a couple rockets uh, late in late innings today, but right at guys, kind of the game of baseball. But uh, really quick on Kyle Manzardo's day. Bobby, if you don't ask, I'm going to pour that in. I mean, uh, I think I think that probably added a little tension to our offense today, to be quite honest. You know, Manzo's a council guy, and – He's our go-to guy. He's one of them, and uh, and he's a tremendous worker in person. And I just I told Manzo in the fourth inning, I said, "Look, I don't care what the score is. I don't care what the situation is. If you're at a full guard three zero count today, you are swinging. You you." And then I stopped it right there. I didn't say you go get that record, but uh, I think we both knew what that meant. And uh, you know, a three-year hitting streak, uh, chasing you know one of the longest streaks in, in Cougar baseball history. I was really disappointed for him. I just felt bad for him. I was rooting for him so hard to get it. And, and to be quite honest, I just for what he's done for the program, you know, situationally, if he's leading off an inning at 3-0 and we're down one, uh, he's swinging. And, uh, but he just, he wasn't able to get a hit. He, he barreled a couple of balls, of course, like he always does. He just couldn't find a hole. So proud of him. Uh, should be really proud of himself for the a three-year hitting streak and uh, was sad to see it come to a close. But uh, 
I think everybody was really rooting hard for him and um, it was kind of emotional for him. So he's a pro and, and he'll get back to work, but uh, he had a good day. He just didn't find the results.